Cable is one of the oldest forms of communication and entertainment used in the U.S., being invented during the 1940s by John Wilson Sr. in Mahanoy City, Pennsylvania. He built an antenna on a mountain to receive channels from Philadelphia, and then would run cable from the antenna to houses that paid for a subscription. Cable took a slow but gradual rise in popularity, with it having the highest number of subscriptions at the turn of the millennium. But now, cable is starting to see a decrease, and now seeing an increase in online streaming. Walson's descendants now own a TV providing company called Service Electric. I talked to two people who work at Service Electric to understand how the company has been dealing with the people switching to other mediums. Service Electric has been serving the Lehigh Valley area for about 73 years, bringing not only cable television, but internet as well. Service Electric was also the first TV provider to provide Home Box Office, or HBO. Chris Kelly is the engineering manager at Service Electric, and I interviewed him about Service Electric and their plans to combat the issue of people switching from their services. So I uh, am the manager of our, our engineering department, our network operations center, and our customer product company. Engineering, that's the core infrastructure of our system, so it's making sure the channels stay online, the, uh, the internet stays working, all our internal network infrastructure, security systems, a lot of that falls with our, within our engineering department. So we have a team of both network engineers and field engineers that um, we, we interact with on a daily basis. The landscape of videos is changing drastically and how people enjoy their content. Um, you know, so maybe the way we have to deliver that content might have to adapt to how people want it. And uh, we, they, they still need some type of internet service to access that content, whether it be ours or, or through some of the other services. So, you know, it's important for us to stay on top of it and see the trends. Cable television is the most expensive way to watch television, but with people switching to online streaming, companies like Service Electric are most likely going to charge more for internet, which will make switching services cost about the same, which will make switching seem less viable. It is estimated that about 35.4% of Americans will have cut the cord by 2024. I think one thing that's hard to predict is, is how accurate that'll be, because it, it seems kind of cyclical for some people. They like exploring streaming and that don't necessarily want linear TV, but then accessing the content they want live becomes a bit of a struggle. So um, while it's it's no secret that a lot of people are, are looking at streaming, some people do tend to uh, still enjoy you know, linear cable and everything that comes with it. Despite cable television being the most expensive, it may make the most sense for some people. With online streaming, not only do you have to pay for good internet, you also have to pay for the streaming service itself. And you may also have to pay for add-ons to the service, like having more than three streams at a time. It may cost roughly the same amount to have good quality online streaming compared to cable television. Debbie Kiba is the marketing director at Service Electric, and I also interviewed her to get a better understanding of how Service Electric is responding to people switching from their services. I've been with Service Electric in some capacity for over 30 years. As a marketing director, I oversee the sales and marketing aspects of our company. Even though we create and post um, hundreds of advertisements each month, my department does so much more. Streaming services have affected the entire cable provider industry. It is true that cable TV subscribers are decreasing nationwide, and the same here in the Lehigh Valley, while streaming subscriptions are increasing. I don't think people realize how many streaming services are out there. There's hundreds. You know the top 12, maybe. But I've created a charge for our customer service reps so they can understand it. If a customer calls in and says, I'm thinking about cutting the cord because I'm going to go with these four services so they can add the price up for them and show them they're actually going to pay more for less. And um, I could, there's no way I could even inc include them. I have pages and pages and pages of the streaming services. So there's many, many, many of them. It is now easier than ever to switch from cable television to online streaming with the advent of smart TVs and streaming sticks like Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Chromecast. With smart TVs, everything that you need is already built in, so you have no need to configure anything, and with streaming sticks, you can basically turn any TV into a smart TV. Most streaming services even have a free trial, so you can make sure that switching to online streaming is right for you. Not only is online streaming an option for people wishing to cut the cord, but there are other options like satellite TV, which provides the highest quality picture. Cable television has been around for many years, but it has shown to have quite a battle against online streaming and satellite television. In the end, it all comes down to what people prefer. Some people prefer cable television with its stability and speed, satellite television with its better picture quality, and online streaming with its ability to be watched anywhere at any time. 
Wherever you are with all three of these mediums, one thing is definitely clear. Television will not go away for a long time.